CPR model, there's two pieces to this. CPR is a to raise an issue. A good way to raise the issue is to start with what's going well. So here's what I think is working. Here's an area that I think needs attention, and here's my request, CPR. Compliments, problem, request. Mm. We've established that because we've started the conversation in a non-accusatory blaming way if we follow the guidelines. Now we have to discuss this issue. So you both state, here's my core need, here's my recovery needs, here's where I'm flexible. Partner two, that's the order you do it in. Core need, recovery needs, here's where I'm flexible. On page 42, there's a getting to yes set of questions that can help you process. Now sometimes when I work with couples, I don't actually use this. They're just, after they do the core needs and areas of flexibility, that sometimes is enough of a process. But these are really good questions that kind of help you go a little bit deeper. So you look at this list, discuss these questions with your partner, help me understand why your inflexible areas are so important. So it just guides the conversation a little bit more. And I think that's a really useful thing to just have access to. I cannot overstate how important the skill is. <laughs> when couples learn this, then they spend less time in therapy. <laughs> right? So turn to page 68. And I'm asking you to look at your partner right now and to make an agreement, if you can, to under 1A on page 68, do you agree, do both of you agree to identify when feeling attacked and ask the partner to stop or to restate? So if you agree that you're going to do that, then put a check there or initial up. We're making a verbal agreement that's now documented in the book. <laughs> Page 68, yes, we agree to identify when feeling attacked and ask the partner to stop or restate. So when your partner says, I'm feeling attacked right now, you made an agreement that says, I'm going to do my best to remember that I made this agreement that that's okay for you to do that. What we're going to do is we're going to set up a series of exercises where these cards will facilitate different components of recovery with a different agenda. So here's what I mean by recovery. Recovery means we've had this disorder or a series of difficulties that have impacted us. And now our recovery is healing from an addiction or a medical issue, even because this can translate into many different versions of something that's impacted us. So recovery is not necessarily in the traditional sense like 12-step recovery. I'm not referring to that. I'm referring to I've been impacted and now I need to talk about it, integrate it into our relationship so we can talk about it, but also that I can grow as a person, we can grow as a couple through it. So that's exactly what I mean by recovery. Mm -hmm.